Here I've got a nice elementary number theory problem to show you the solution for. So our goal is to find all natural numbers A and B such that the GCD of A and B plus the LCM of A and B is equal to 2021. So this is recorded in the year 2021, so that's the motivation for taking that number. So maybe before we get started, let's notice that 2021 has the following factorization into primes, which is gonna be important as we move through the solution. So this is equal to 43 times 47. And actually the fact that 2021 factors into only two primes makes a lot of the problems involving 2021 a lot easier than they will be, for instance, next year or what they were last year. Okay, so let's maybe get into the solution. So first off, I wanna simplify this a little bit by setting the GCD of A and B equal to something. So let's call it D. So let's set D equal to the greatest common divisor of A and B. So what does that mean? That means, first of all, that it's a common divisor. In other words, A can be written as D times X and B can be written as D times Y. So that makes it a common divisor. But what makes it the greatest common divisor? Well, an equivalent statement of it being the greatest common divisor would be to say that the GCD of these numbers X and Y is equal to one. So we factored out as much as we can from A and B that is common. Okay, great. But now that we've got this set up, it's easy to write the LCM of A and B in terms of this D, X, and Y. So let's notice that the LCM of A and B under this setup is equal to D times X, Y. Now we can rewrite our equation in terms of D, X, and Y. So notice our equation is now D plus D, X, Y equals 2021, now let's factor a D out of this left-hand side. So I'll write that as D times one plus XY is equal to 2021. But notice that that tells us that D in fact divides 2021. But this prime factorization of 2021 gives us only so many values for D given that it is a factor of 2021, it can be 1, 43, 47, or the whole thing. So let's write all of those cases here. So we've got D is now from the set 1, 43, 47, and 2021. In fact, if you play the game, you'll see that it is impossible for D to be equal to 2021. So I'll mark that one out. If D was equal to 2021, X, Y would have to be equal to zero, which means that one of A or B would have to be equal to zero, but I'm not taking zero to be a natural number, so that won't work in this case. If we do allow zero to be a natural number, we would get some more solutions, so maybe post those in the comments. Now we're just gonna work through these one case at a time. So maybe we'll box this one in purple. We'll have our purple case is first. And so that's D is equal to one. But if D is equal to one, we have one plus XY is equal to 2021, which tells us that XY is equal to 2020. But now we need to be able to factor 2020 into co-prime integers. What I mean by co-prime is that their GCD is one. That's because of this thing up here. Well, let's notice that 2020 is in fact four times five times 101. So that's 2020 written as a product of powers of primes. So from here, we can take X and Y from the following set. So it could be equal to one comma 2020, could be equal to four comma 505, could be equal to five comma 404, and finally, we could also have 20 times 101. And that's not quite everything. 
Notice that we have also all of the reflections of these. So we could also have 2020 comma one, 505 comma four, so on and so forth. So I'll just put here plus all of the reflections of these ordered pairs. Okay, so now that we've taken care of this purple case, let's maybe get rid of that and then take care of this green case, which is when D is equal to 43. So now we're ready to look at this green case when D is equal to 43. But notice if D is equal to 43, one plus XY is equal to 2021 divided by 43, but that makes it equal to 47. But if one plus XY is equal to 47, but that tells us that XY in this case is equal to 46. But now we can easily factor 46 into primes as two times 23. That gives us a lot less cases for the ordered pairs X and Y, so we can list them all. So now X, Y must come from the following set. 146, its reflective pair, which is 46, 1. And then 2, 23, and its reflective pair, 23, 2. Okay, so we've taken care of this purple case and this green case. Now let's go ahead and take care of our last case, which will be this red case. Now we're ready to look at our last case, which is when D is equal to 47, where that's the greatest common divisor of A and B. So in this case, we have one plus XY is equal to 43. Okay, but that means that X times Y is equal to 42. We can factor that into a product of powers of primes. Let's see, what would that be? That would be two times three times seven. So in this case, there are gonna be more possibilities than we had before. So maybe we'll just write down one of the orders of our ordered pairs, and then you can look at the reflections as well. So let's see what we have. We have X, Y now comes from the set, one, 42. We could have 2, 21. We could have 3, 14. We could have 6, 7. And I believe that's it. Along with, of course, all of the reflective pairs. So let's just put reflections here. Okay, but notice in each of these cases, we've just found the value of x and y not the value of A and B. So let's maybe summarize everything and finish it off on the next board. So we're almost done. Let's recall that we set A equal to D times X, B equal to D times Y, where the GCD of X and Y was equal to one. That means that D was the GCD of A, B. When D was equal to one, we got the following values for X, Y, but since D is equal to one, X and Y are equal to A and B respectively. So this is actually the final answer in this case. We have A comma B comes from this following set and then the reflections. And just as a heads up, on the board, I've only listed the cases when X is less than Y. So you'd have to look at all of the permutations of these as well. Okay, so let's look at this next case. If D is equal to 43, we got that X and Y had to be from this four element set, but I've only written two of the elements, the ones where X is less than Y. But since A is equal to DX and B is equal to DY, we know that AB comes from the following set under this setup. We've got that it's 43, 43 times 46, that would be one possibility, two times 43, but let's see, that's gonna be 86, and 43 times 23 and of course the permutations of those. So I'll let you guys multiply these numbers out if you want to. Okay, and then we have the same kind of setup here. D is equal to 47, so that means that A, B can be constructed from each of these ordered pairs. So we've got 47, 42 times 47 from this first ordered pair. We've got two times 47, let's see, that's gonna be 94 and then 21 times 47, that's from the second ordered pair, and then you can finish it off similarly. 
So all in all, there are a lot of possibilities for A and B, especially when you list the other cases when X is bigger than Y. And that's a good place to stop.